Hey guys, it's May 21st, 2012, and yesterday I cleaned out their brooder, um, and there was a lot of water on the glass that I didn't wipe off, so you'll notice a lot of little droplets on here. But, you know, I kind of did a little estimate on their age, and I made them a little, I made a mistake on their age. They're actually, um, four weeks old. Probably, no, 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 five weeks old, sorry. Because I made a video back on the 16th of last month, and at that time, they were already a week old. So that makes them five weeks old, not six. So as you can see, these little guys... They are actually able to come out of the brooder now and in cages. I just haven't done it. I changed the pine shavings. They all get along really well. And so I'm happy with them in there. And they are very calm little birds. They're not jumpy and they're not skittish and they don't run away. And there's my Sarama. It's so funny. There's that little chick that everybody has loved. This is the one that was born white with a brown back and brown head look how pretty and i think it's a hen i really wanted it to be a boy but i think it's a little girl here's a boy there's a boy oh wait yeah those are two boys you can see their face they have a ring forming and it's gonna get very blue here's a girl she's got spots on her she's sleepy there's my pied this is the little tiny one that had the little wing tips that were um, white and now that she's grown she looks like your regular wild type but see her wing tips they're hidden but as soon as she flaps her wings her entire flight feathers are white so she looks really cool when she flaps her flight feathers so i like that but i don't tend to care for the pides as much but she would be good to pair with the cinnamon um red breasted or your wild type but because she's a pied, I think her gene is strong, so you might end up with some pied babies. Look at this cute little guy staring. There's a little Darth Vader, which is the red, black face, red breasted. Here's the older one. They're so beautiful, aren't they? And my black Sarama, which I think is going to be a black molten. Such a cutie. I have a little white one here with um, black spots don't care for that too much this one here is a um, silver pearl tuxedo it's hard to tell I have a pure white one right there and then I have this pretty one right here this is another tuxedo pie I think it's a European just like the one back there is a European that one right there and then I have this beautiful little cinnamon red breasted. Um, see how the red feathers are on the wings? And it'll just keep on growing and growing and growing. Um, they're molting. And so this little guy, by the time he's finished, he will be so red that I think I'm going to keep him. I really like his red feathers. Let's see, watch. Duchess, Duchess, Duchess. Olivia, calm down. They're at the window here. But see how they're not really jumping around and running away? They're not really skittish little birds. I hear the dogs barking, so of course they're all like, what? But yeah, they really should come out of this brooder now and should have their own cage. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to sell the first four that I got which is two males and two females because they're extremely hyper and they just don't like me going into their cage they flip out um, changing their water and food they flip out and this is because I raised them in a brooder and I didn't really see them I have a few more chicks that I need to put in here that are bigger those will need to come in here um, they're separate chicks that hatch at a later, later date which is the ones from the chick baiter and um these guys here, they don't flip out. If I move too fast in their brooder to get their food and water, of course, they kind of flip out. But if I just go in there and grab what I need, and even to pick up one of them, they're fine. Look at this one, so pretty. There's the two. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? I'm really hoping still that they're molting to where they'll turn into a boy. 
like this one here. That one's actually just like those. Oh, and then I have some more that I'm getting uh, from someone on eBay. And I'm getting some new, totally new line of um, button quills. Um, so I'm going to have to add another cage set up for more button quills. I just added these silvers. I'm going to keep all my silvers. I have nine of them. They all get along really well, so all of them will stay together. I have three males. So six, seven, eight, nine. I have three males and six females. And the males are just now coloring out. Look how sleepy they are. They're so cute. This one's really pretty. It's It's got a gray head and a gray back. All the See the tuxedo on this one right in the center? So picture that in a pearl sil silver. Because even these silvers here are darker. And he's lighter, but he or she, so cute. I think that is it. Look at this little girl. See, they're not even caring that I'm sitting here talking, and they just are used to me. So that's why it's really nice to be able to raise your, see here, oops, raise your button clothes right next to you where you're on the computer. That's my speaker and they see you all the time they make better pets they're much quieter and tamer and calmer and that is jumpy so i think that's it this video has gone long enough so i guess if you guys have any questions leave a comment below and uh if you'd like to rate the video that'd be great and if you'd like to subscribe i have more videos coming up and i'll see you guys on the next video